So I was scrolling through Reddit the other day and I saw this post of a bunch of 3D printed vases that were selling for up to $150 looking at this window. But why is that and how are they able to get away with that when there's only like $10, three or $5 worth of filament in there? Oh, we're gonna talk about that in this video. So first of all, these prices are based on Australian dollars and Australian dollars convert at a slightly different ratio than US dollars. An Australian dollar right now has a conversion rate of about 65 cents US. So if you're looking at a $150 vase or a $100 vase, it's actually selling for about $65 US. Now, that's not to say that that's necessarily cheap. It's not, but here's the thing. Many people don't recognize the value of actual items. Everybody looks at, oh, I put this much plastic into it, therefore that is what it is worth. But that's not true. You have put work and effort and labor and design and intention and curation into the creation of one of these products. And that is what the seller has done. They have found a pot that looks interesting. They have selected a material and color that looks good and is interesting. They have shown up at this marketplace where this post was taken and they have presented it to customers. So now it's convenient for the customers to get a hold of it. All this stuff adds value to them. They also, by the way, are not purely 3D printed vases. They have a glass insert on the inside, which brings up a really good point. These sorts of vases is you actually don't have to print yourself. You could upload one of these vases to portals and in about 30 seconds have it available for sale with a glass insert to go along with it. And then whenever somebody makes a purchase from your portal, that vase will be printed, the insert included, and then shipped out the door directly to your customer. So you don't have to do all the work of running a print farm or anything else. It's a really great way to start a 3D printing business and get access to hundreds of machines to grow your 3D printing business without having to worry about where to source those glass inserts or anything else. You just upload the file and you're selling in about 30 seconds. It's free. It's global. It's a super handy app. So I recommend checking out portals over at slantpod.com. But these vases just have a lot of value add to them. And if you are creating them and distributing them around, it's okay to charge whatever people are willing to buy. And again, that picture doesn't have to be real. It could be an experiment. At that show, the person could trade out different price charts in order to see what the conversion rate is. Oh, at this pricing, people are buying a 10 of them a minute. At this pricing, people are buying one of them an hour. These are experiments that can be run. So it might not have been the actual true pricing, but I'll bet it was because again, those vases are not unreasonable. Yes, we all know that you can find vases someplace that are cheaper, that are the same size and maybe even a similar look, but that's not the point. People are buying something to make them feel special, make them feel unique, and that is totally interesting in how they are living their lives. People get too caught up, especially in 3D printing, people get too caught up about the price of stuff, whereas the value that it creates, the emotion that it creates, what people in the regular world are looking for is what is important. So when you are starting a business, you have to realize that the product is not the only part of the business. It is everything else. Your branding, your marketing, your curation, your decision, and who your customers are. So make sure you're considering that when you build out your 3D printing business. Have a great day, everybody.